I've tested dozens of AI tools and let me be honest with you, it used to be chaos. One to four images, one for videos and zero character consistency between them. Total headache. That's why I'm excited to show you OpenArt, a platform that allows you to do everything in one place. Generate images, generate videos, add lip sync, add motion to your uh, characters and keep characters consistent, which is very important in my opinion. So in this video I will show you how to use OpenArt, how to generate images, videos and what is the best way to actually use it so you don't waste your credits. Let's dive in. So here we go, OpenArt as you can see here, there's a link in the description, you'd like to check it out and this is a place where ideas become visual stories. And it's not only a good place if you want to generate images or videos, but it's also a great place if you want to generate the whole videos from just let's say one prompt or one click or a few clicks really. So we would like to discover how to do it. Make sure to comment down below and I'll create another video or we'll create a whole video with just a few clicks. So this is the whole website, very clean. It shows what you can do with this tool, but let me show you what it looks like inside when you actually create your account. So this is what you'll be able to see inside. Very clean design. Um, there are a lot of tools, as you can see here, lip sync, we have motion, we have video upscaling, chat to edit, edit image, image upscale, train a character so we can create your own characters and your own models, then train a model, image to prompt, and of course videos, and a few other things in between, like for example stories, what I was just telling you about. And as you can see, people are creating quite interesting stories and long stories here as well. So as you can see, two minutes, two minutes, four minutes. Um, here we have three minutes, 34 seconds, two minutes. So there's a lot of um, videos that people creating with open art, but this is not a topic for this um, video. So the first thing is, of course, how to generate images. On the left side, you can see there is an option that is called image. When you click on it, you will be able to see all available models and also the content you can create. So as you can see here, here we have a few options. So of course, create image, edit image, chat to edit, character, and also book create. But in this case, we just want to check models. So we click here on switch, and here you can see all the models. So we have Seedream 4.0, Nano Banana, Flux Dev, Flux Context, Flux Pro, Flux Context Max, and a few other models, for example, GPT Image, Seedream, Quen, Ideogram. So you will find literally anything that you need. Um, you have also more like um, anime style, like for example, Pixel Wave or Open Art SDXL. So you will find um, whatever you need, you will find it here. Or for example, open art. This one looks interesting in my opinion. So you pick your model. Let's say we pick Seadream. And then uh, you, every model has a little bit different settings. So here you can write your prompt. You can also create a prompt for, from the image. So this is quite interesting. We can just upload an image here. Um, and then you, we can just use a model that we'll be using for writing this prompt and it will write a prompt for you. So this is, in my opinion, a very nice feature that will help you with creating your prompts if you really don't know how to create prompts properly. Um, you can also use image reference. You can use up to 10 images and then you also have settings. So aspect ratio, in this case, we have auto, square, vertical, horizontal, widescreen, tall, slim, wide, cinematic even. So you will find everything that you need, right? Then resolution, in this case, we have 1K, 2K, or 4K, and Im number of images, so we have one, two, four. So this is in a nutshell what you can do. Now, to create image, you just need a prompt, and I want to test a few models. So first, um, we have this model here. We have very simple model. We have futuristic soldier in advanced armor with high-tech weaponry. And first, I created this image with Seadream 4.0, and this is a nice generation, I would say. We have another image as well, which is this one. Both, the, both of them look good. Then I did the same thing, but with a different model. So here we took uh, Flux Pro and we wrote the same prompt. And here's also the image. In my opinion, both of them look good. I mean, gen both models did a good job. There are no problems here. I would say this is probably my favorite. So Flux, uh, of course, is is very good model, but sometimes it's more expensive, so it might be useful to use Seadream from time to time. And I also tried something more cartoonish. So I just pick a fantasy model, the same prompt, and as you can see, it's more like fantasy. Um, so it, it could be more like a model from a game um, or let's say from um, some kind of anime, something like that. So this is the first image, the first attempt. In my opinion, this looks all right. Then I want to try another one. So here we are again using Flux. And here is also the prompt. So the prompt is quite long. 
So we have this small red wooden boat that is resting on a dark volcanic beach. And we also have uh, is in the center of the image. So this is a very long prompt. And the only thing that is weird is actually this black um, area here. But let's say it's it's still good. It follows the, uh, the prompt properly. Um, and the, the next one, I would say the first one is better than the second one but it really depends on your preferences. I would say st this one is still better when you compare both of them. Uh, so it follows the prompt quite nicely. Now, the next one, I just want to, to test something more realistic. So I used prompt, uh, so I used Flux Pro again, and here we have a whole prompt that is quite long. We can see that we have this go here, and we have also this car, um, Audi A6 in this case and we have also the generation. So in my opinion, it looks very realistic. It's a nice image. And here is also the second one. Um, in my opinion, probably this one is better. We can see more details here. The quality is just better in my opinion. Um, this one is not bad either. I like the sunset here, but let's say the license, the license plate isn't that great here. Um, so this is my biggest problem here. Here we just see more details because it's more of a it's closer to, to the camera. Let's do one more test. So here we have Flux Pro and here we have the whole prompt. It's a very long prompt. And here is the first image, in my opinion, very nice image. And here is also the second one. So both of them look good. Now let's test it with another model. So here we have Seadream 4.0. As you can see, the same model. And here we also have Seadream. This is also a good generation. Maybe there is a little bit problem with this gun here, but other than that, I don't see any problems here. Everything looks all right. And the second one, um, again, uh, everything looks all right, except for this gun. The position of this gun uh, is not that great in my opinion. So in this case, I would say um, Flux did a little bit better job. We can see, again, there was there is some problem here. It looks like maybe Two of them are into the holster, but uh, nevertheless, it's still, in my opinion, better generation. So this is another test. Now, this is one of the prompts that I was using before. So here is a whole prompt. The prompt is quite long. Uh, we can see we have this go here and I'm using Flux Pro. And the first generation, in my opinion, looks very nice, very, very good quality. All details look all right. And here's also the second one. The second one also looks good. So both of them are very nice generations. So I want to test this. Now let's try something different. So here we have just this uh, woman that is, let's say a YouTuber or maybe a podcaster. Here is also the whole prompt. You would like to copy it for yourself. And here is also the first image and the second one. So I would say my favorite is actually the first one. Um, I like the position of everything here. So this is a very nice outcome with Flux Pro. So as you can see, it's very easy to create all your images. Now, the second thing is that you can create also your own characters or create consistent characters. So when you click here on characters on the left side, you can start with one image or maybe four images to get better quality. Um, so I just tested it with one image of myself to, to uh, basically try to recreate myself, but I would say if you have more images, it's always better to start with four or even more images. The quality will be just much, much better. Nevertheless, I just created myself. There are also other characters you can use that people basically made. So for example, this guy or this guy. So there is a lot of characters that you can use. So all of them um, you can just reuse for your content. This is completely fine. People, you, people created them so you can use them as well. So this is how uh, you can basically use any of these characters. You even have the Deadpool here, which is quite interesting. Um, so this is how to create your character. You just click here, you upload your image, and then you add a name. So you can just say uh, like Emma, you add an image, and then that's it. And you can create your first character for free. As you can see right now, it says 500 credits. But before when I was creating my, my first character, which was basically me, um, then it was just for free. So this is a very nice option to just get your character right from the first time. And here's also how to create your character. So what kind of images are good? Like for example, full body, half body, or this half body. Um, so this is how you can create your character. It's very easy, very straightforward. And then you can create also images uh, and even videos if you would like to. But I just wanted to see what it looks like. So I just had one image, nothing more. And as you can see, here is a prompt. So I'm sitting at a desk, medium body shot, facing the camera directly in a YouTube studio setup with lights and background. 
The first one looks all right. It looks kind of sim. This guy looks kind of similar to me. So this is a nice generation. Although if I would upload more images, it will look even more realistic, but it's not bad, I would say. Here we have the second one. It looks all right. Um, let's say all the key details are fine. There are a few mistakes that I can see, but nevertheless, it's still um, all right, considering that I just uploaded one image and this is what I'm getting. So in my opinion, this is pretty much no brainer if you want to create, for example, thumbnails. This is in my opinion, the best thing. If you want to create thumbnails, you just create, let's say upload four or five images of yourself and you can create thumbnails very easily without, you know, ever a need to, to uh, you know, to pose yourself or to have a good hair day or whatever. So this is how to create your characters. Now, let's me actually, let me show you a few videos as well. So when you click on the video option here, you have a few options. So we have text to video, image to video, you have elements if you would like to combine a few things together and also audio. So we can add audio to your video um, in, in that way. Now, in terms of models, there is a lot of them. As you can see, literally anything you'd need. There's Clean 2.5, 2.1, we have Seedance, which I'm a huge fan of. We have one 2.5 even, which is so popular right now. One 2.2, VO3, Minimax, Pixverse, Vidu, Runway Pika, Hunyu One, VO2, Kling 1.6, um, and a few other models. So if you pick any model, and let's say you will pick option text to video, then of course you have a few settings. So here you can write your prompt. Again, you can use image to get your prompt. Then settings, five seconds or 10 seconds, of course, aspect ratio, and you can also add negative prompt as well. So this is very, very simple. And I want to show you a few videos that I generated. So for example, here we have Cdance 1, and here is a whole prompt. Um, it's a nice prompt, a little bit longer. And here's also the video. In my opinion, this video looks nice. It exactly follows the prompt. So this is very, uh, you know, easy creation, very straightforward. You can later add it to your albums or maybe publish or download or reuse settings. So you have always a few options with your generations. Now, the second one was just an image, that just a video of this guy. Again, I, I use Cdance, uh, no image, just text to video. And the prompt is very simple. Um, we have this guy that is basically snowboarding. The quality is great. It looks very realistic. And then I also show you how to add sounds to your videos because it's very, very easy. Now, here we have one more video where I actually use Kling 2.5. And here is a whole prompt. In my opinion, this is a very nice video. I'll probably use it in my intro as well. So as you can see, very nice generations, all the latest models, everything in one place with one subscription. And the last thing is that you can add uh, sounds to your, to your videos as well. So when you have your video, it's pretty easy. And this is what it looks like when you have already sound included in your video. So in my opinion, that sounds very real. It sounds exactly like someone would be snowboarding. So it nailed it completely. So this is open art. In my opinion, one of the best platforms that allows you to do literally anything you need or anything you want. Um, you can generate videos, as you can see here. You can generate videos, you can generate images, consistent characters, you can add audio, lip sync, or you can even create a whole videos from just a few clicks. So if you'd like to test this tool by yourself, there's a link in the description and you would like to see how to generate whole videos and stories just from a few clicks, make sure to comment down below, subscribe to this channel, like this video. And if I see that enough people want to see it, I'll record another video on how to create those videos. And of course, if you would like to generate images, videos, discover the latest AI tools and monetize AI fast, make sure to watch the video you can see on your screen right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.